That being said. Alright, hi everyone. My name is Joy V. This is the third time I'm trying to do this, but I think I worked out all my technical issues. This is Hotline Miami 2, wrong number. Um, this is the sequel to one of my favorite uh, indie games of the last easily five years. I think it was you know more of like the last three years. Holy crap. So freaking good. This, this game is got some an amazing aesthetic amazing graphics um, the soundtrack is probably the best soundtrack I've ever heard in a game period it's synth pop it's just oh it's so good um, and the gameplay is best described as kind of like a murder puzzle game it's like everyone's there you die in one shot you got to go through the rooms clear out everyone on the floor go to the next floor clear out everyone there get out it's uh, it's really fucking fantastic um, I've been having some issues streaming this through XSplit, but I'm confident that I fixed them. Um, and I wanted to, for the archive, I wanted to just get through a few levels. So that's what I'm going to do right now. My friend Chiba is in the chat. It's going to be keeping me some company. And uh, yeah, should be good. My dog squeaking in the back. Oh, look at that. So fast. So good. Pets are fighting in the background. It was great. Man, this part stinks. I fucking hate these people. Who invited all these morons? Ellipses. What do you guys think about tonight? We gonna do it? I don't see why not. I'm sick of this shit. Yeah, let's do it. The weapons are in the car, right? So we are actually doing this. Mm. Yeah, let's go do it. Alright, so now for those of you wondering what the fuck those animals were doing, if you notice right here, this guy's wearing a bear mask, goose mask, tiger mask, zebra mask. So all these people in this bar are wearing like different masks. And the masks are all sorts of fucked up. For some reason, there's like this weird like section of murderers in Miami, and they all wear masks and they all do weird shit. Um, so I could be Corey and have a roll dodge, or I can be Tony. My punch is killed, but I'm not allowed to use weapons. I want to use Tony. I want to be Tony. That's how fucking fast and crazy this game is. You just go in, you just fucking punch people in the face, and they die. You can tell I've done this level a couple times already. <laughs> Alright, so now you can like kind of goad people to come out and then kind of beat them up from there. So like, this guy's got a gun. Whoa. See? One shot, dead. He shot me with the shotgun, I'm done. Oh! Hit with a baseball bat. I'm sorry, that was a that was a golf club or a lead pipe. Alright. Come on, buddy. Oh <laughs> Lol, that last guy murked you. Yeah he did. Oh! Shot in the face. So that's just how like that's how this game is. This game is fast, it is brutal. But you can see how it's like a puzzle game almost. It's like, okay, I gotta do this, I gotta do this. Kind of a stealth Oh fuck, I messed up. Um, so I can I can hold down the shift here so I can kind of look f like a head um, See now most usually I could pick up these weapons and use them and you could either use them with your left button or you Throw them with the right button, but since I chose Tony who kills with his punches. I can do that. Oh, oh uh, You can use spacebar to mount the guys when they're on the ground and things that will get them on the ground is you can, um, let me see if I can do it here. You can, oh, if you open the door and there's a guy right behind the door, he'll get knocked down. And then from there, he's on the ground and stunned. And then you can, um, then kind of do some shit. All right, let me try and get these guys over here. Oh! Oh my god, I actually got hit. See if I can. Huh? Oh! 
Yes. There it is. And that's the level clear. And that's that's a level on Hotline Miami. It's f super fast. Now imagine me playing that with the stream lagging like shit. I felt so terrible for the people that were here. Thankfully, my fans are fantastic and overlooked all that. But um, but yeah, like that's the way you want to play this game. You want it fast. You want it fucking brutal. A minus, sweet. And now you kind of get in these like weird story interludes. They're super odd. Like this game is like a, dr a really bad drug trip. Happy Halloween, sir. You ordered three pizzas, right? That'll be fourteen fifty. Your pizzas are on the counter to your left. Draw your meal and watch out for ghosts tonight, okay? Like what the fuck? There's just guys like, like what the fuck are these guys doing? So, and in the first Hotline Miami, you played one guy. Oh no, two guys. You played two different guys. You played, um, you played like this one guy who was getting phone calls to his home, and they were telling him where to go, and he would go, like telling him of like businesses and stuff. He would go there and kill everyone, and like with very little reason, he was having hallucinations and stuff. It was weird. Leaving already? You don't look too good. You okay? Been a stressful day. You wouldn't believe what they have me doing. Should probably go home and get some sleep. All right, you have a nice night. You too, sweetheart. Oh god, this game running at full speed just has me so happy. I'm so bummed. Like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> All right, come on, buddy. Fucker. Ah. So now, what's interesting about this game already is that it's changing protagonists. Like, you never changed. Like, that was a big twist in Hotline Miami 1 is when they had you play as, like, a separate guy. Like, now they're just doing it out of the get- out of the get-go, and it's kind of weird. Good job, cat and dog. Alright, shit, this guy. All right, so I'm going to try and show you this. So I can throw that, knocks him down, and I can jump on top of him and get him. And I'm going to use a gun here for the rest of it. The gun is good in that you can shoot people from afar, but the gun's bad because it makes a lot of noise. When you when you make enough noise, fuck. Uh, when you make enough noise, people are alerted, and they come over to investigate. And that just makes it more likely that you're going to get murked. If I were to quote Chiba in chat. So melee weapons are quiet, but you know, gotta be melee range. That was nice. Alright, he shouldn't be able to see me. This guy left, right? Dun, dun, dun. Listen to that fucking soundtrack, man! Dun, 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 dun. Bam! Fuck off! I usually prefer melee, um, just because it makes so much noise. I mean, there is the idea, though, if you have, like, like, I, like, here, I'll try, I'll try this. Like, if I have a shotgun, I can just kind of draw people to my location and just start fucking them up. Like, like, I alerted that guy, but then the guy behind me got, got to me, you know, that's, like, that's the danger of it. And also the danger is, like Dark Souls, if you play too fast... Oh, fucking brutal. If you play too fast, you could end up getting fucked. Ugh. Oh! Fucking I had you. You could start making mistakes if you play too fast. Oh. 
Oh, he actually shot me once. I got lucky on that. Come on. Alright, who else wants some? Alright, so let's try and get... We're going to knock this guy down. And kill that guy. And then we're going to kill that guy. Alright. We're actually doing pretty well this, this go around. Beautiful. We just have two left. Four shots. Yeah, motherfucker. Done. Huh. Drop your weapon and get down on the ground now. Don't shoot, I'm a detective. Here's my badge. What fucking detective fucking curb stomps people? Oh, sorry, sir. Lawyer weapons, boys. What's the situation in there? We heard gunfire. Yeah, you go look for yourselves. It's a bloodbath in there. Man, sometimes I hate this city. What the fuck? Weird. That's super weird. <laughs> Keanu does in Street Kings. Yeah, it's true. Uh, one second. I just gotta check on something really quick. I'll be right back. Got a text from the wife, you gotta check. wife forgot her purse here while she went out to go see our friends so fuck oh god I'm so happy this fucking game's playing well looks like you got a serial killer on your hands pardo same MO as the guy we found last week. Message and all. I'm innocent. They forced me to do it. Yeah, right. Haven't heard that before. The guy must be some kind of psycho, huh? Creeps me out. Guess I'll make the press happy, though. Goddamn vultures. With all the murders in the city, I doubt they'll even care. Seems they need buckets of blood before they even raise an eyebrow. This just seems a bit too standard. No gory details. God. The city sure makes your skin thick, huh? I was born with th thick skin. Have you guys found any clues? Not really. Guy's throat slit. Haven't found the murder weapon yet. No fingerprints, no witnesses, nothing. I'll let you know if anything turns up. You do that. Head down to the station and get started on the paperwork. Alright, have a nice night, sir. Yeah, we'll see about that. The thing that always gets me is just like I love how they're able to show such detail with just pixel art. Like you can see the plants, you can see the aquarium, you can see the bed. Like I just, it's just so simple but so good. They're able to do so much with so little. So I mean, these guys are just at the top of their game when it comes to uh, art. Oh man, look at that. Look at that style. All right, so we were in 1991. Now we're going back two years to 1989. We've got some form of skinhead. He's just shaving his head. 
Just shaved his head. He's got a rebel flat, a Confederate flag. So this is kind of like what happened in the original Hotline Miami is that someone would call you and they'd give you the name of a location and then you'd go and like fucking kill, start killing people. Uh, Chiba Chiba said, that was some Hideo Kojima, sh Kojima shit. Loved it. Good day. This is Eric from Miami Auto Repairs. I'm calling to tell you that we finished service. Hello? Who is this? I'm going to talk to your boss, okay? Swing on by Northwest 12th Avenue. Place and pick. Hey, I'm talking here. We guarantee you the best service in town. Click. Don't you hang up on me, damn it. Show some goddamn respect. Third scene, hard news. All right, so my goal is to get through this because that is as far as I got in my actual stream and then I'll be good. All right, nail gun or lethal throws? So throws, they mean by, you know what? Let's fucking go nail gun. Oh, what the fuck? Oh! Fuck that guy up. Yeah, uh, these things right here, glass windows. Oh, that oh man, this nail gun's actually fucking sweet. It doesn't make a lot of noise. This is great. Oh, that's what happens. When I whenever I go for a a ground kill, it drops the nail gun. On, buddy get nailed oh man this soundtrack bum, 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 bum. oh fucker I knew it'd be bad what I want. I want this. Beautiful. Ooh, I got the one from across the hall, too. Sweet. Hey, buddy. Oh, whoa! Yeah! Fuck yes. Hey, buddy. It's kind of fucked up when you... You can't think about this game too hard because, man, is it really fucked up. This nail gun's really good, though. <laughs> Alright, four shots. Got some motherfuckers over there. Oh, but there's a door. Bam! Motherfucker! Alright, now I need a shotgun. Oh, 
All right, nail gun, like my favorite gun right now. All right, throw that. Stomp. Come on. Come on, asshole. Let's go. Get over here. What? Get your freaking fat ass over here. Fucker! Come on, bud. Ah, oh, fuck. Let's go. Come on. Who wants some? Now we're gonna try some long range shit. Come on. You want some? You want some? Whoa! Come on. You want some? Oh, fucking shit. Let's go. Kill room. That's the, that's the that's the power. That's the power of a gun. You draw people in. They come in through the doorway. Dead. Like that's when guns are amazing. All right, so now. It's the other time when they're really good. You want it? All right, I need a gun for this. Hmm. You can shoot him. You can definitely shoot him. I chose not to. Well, I didn't I chose not to this time, but last time I did shoot him. So let's let's see. Alright. Let's get out of here and go in there. Beautiful. That was a good one. That felt good. It's hard to get a really good grade in these in these in these levels. All right, this is where I stopped last time, which is so for archive purposes. This is where I'm going to stop this time. Um, uh, I don't want to go too much further, um, you know, without my live audience with uh, without the majority of the audience watching. So you know, I had a bunch of people here earlier, so I'm going to. Quit that for now. <laughs> Chiba says that was tight, except for when you asked for it and got merch through the window. <laughs> yeah, man. So, uh, so initial thoughts. Uh, I think this is still a ton of fun. The formula still works. Um, oh no, problem. Th thanks for watching, Chiba. I really do appreciate it. You know, again, I'm sorry I can't go too much further, but I want to make sure that my audience that was here before didn't miss out on anything. Um, and then tomorrow night I will be back with more Hotline Mama 2 and I'm hoping to just really just plow through a lot of it. Um, I should be playing Wednesday and Thursday. So that should be good. Um, so let me get out of there and 
go here. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, that was a freaking blast. I, I feel so much better now that the technical issues are gone for this. You know, it, it's, you know, it, uh, for those of you who are, are even remotely interested, the issue was the the um, exploit comes with a feature called game auto detect um, and it works 90% of the time actually it works most of the time um, and it's what they suggest you use um, because you get a better experience um, what we what we used to have to use when we were first streaming was we would have to um, we'd have to use something called screen capture and basically we just said anything in this rectangle show me exactly what is in that rectangle um and you would do that for your vic for your games and it turned out to be a whole mess and sometimes it worked sometimes it didn't the game auto detect was really what you needed for hotline miami if i use game auto detect it completely like sucks away all the performance out of hotline miami which is nuts um so i tried it windowed i tried it in a window game capture same thing so then i tried it windowed screen capture worked fine so now i'm doing full screen screen capture and it's working so you know it's this is all the bullshit like if if anyone's out there like yeah i want to get into streaming you will go through this a million times it does not matter how it's sometimes you, like i don't have the world's best pc but i have a really good pc you will go through this a million times no matter how good your pc is no matter how good everything is you will go through this so this is what you have to look forward to you have this and your you know, <laughs> which is a whole other fucking crazy issue so that's what you gotta look forward to but nonetheless thank you everyone for watching you really do appreciate it uh if you're watching on the archive you already know about this, but for anyone who doesn't, you can find all of my previous full plays on www.lunaticjedi.com. You can find out when archives go, uh, go up on the website or when I go live by following facebook.com slash lunaticjedi and twitter.com slash lunaticjedi. If you have any questions that you'd like me to answer, you know whether they be uh, of a personal nature or whether they are um kind of questions uh, about how to stream or whatnot or anything you want you can ask me anything over at lunaticjedi.tumblr.com that's all i got i am logging off for the night i will be back on wednesday and thursday uh playing some more hotline miami 2 and i will also be playing hotline miami 2 on sunday uh and then i should be hopefully finishing hotline miami 2 on monday which is the 23rd starting tuesday the 24th Bloodborne. Bloodborne is happening on this channel, and I cannot wait. I've been jonesing for a good Dark Souls experience, and what better way to than to play uh, Blood than to play Bloodborne? So we'll have that coming up on the twenty fourth. Until then, everybody have a good night, and I'll see you later.